So he had to be. He had to be. A, uh, he's, a, he's the ultimate Judite. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. He's the ultimate Judite. Yeah. You see? Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now, you got our people that go back over there to Jerusalem. Okay, they take trips over there. Right. But as a nation, we ain't been back over there. These people right here on this side, yeah. ain't been back over there as a whole, man. Nah. Now, like I said, you get some of our people of our nation go back over there, and you just got some of our people over there uh, that's of our nation mingled amongst them here. Yeah. Israel has got it everywhere. But as a whole, we ain't yeah. been back in that land, man. Nah, we've been gone. So here it is, that's prophesied, and we read in Joel the third chapter and in Deuteronomy 28 68 that the Israelites are going to come into slavery, man. So wow. you're narrowing it down. Okay, so called African American, so called Haitian, so called Jamaican, they were the ones that was on slave ships. Now, for somebody that's, that's not, for somebody that's not learned and don't know history, they would say, oh, well, what about. The Puerto Ricans and the and the Mexicans and the Native American Indians, they were just on slave ships too. Yeah, but what it is is the so-called Native American, when they were putting them on slave ships, they weren't documenting. But so-called white men, they keep records. What they weren't doing is documenting. And then you got a book called Devastation of the Indies, and what they were doing was trans transporting the so-called uh, Puerto Ricans and the so-called uh, Mexicans, they was transporting them back and forth to South America and North America. That's slave ship. They were doing it to us. Okay? Well, go ahead. And there, and there oh, shall, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There ye shall be sold yeah. unto your enemy. That's yeah. the auction block. Yeah. You see? Yeah, it's prophecy, right? So that's fit us. Yeah, that's fit us already. So what I'm doing is continue to build up and I'm say, because you asked me earlier, how do you know? How do you how do you know? I'm building up on it. Okay? Go ahead. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. I mean, when you look up that word buy, it means redeem you. When you go into the Hebrew, nobody's gonna get us out of this condition. I don't care what leader you put up to say, oh, we finna help the Negro Latino the Native American. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. We're gonna stay stuck in this condition. Why? Because it goes back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15, and it goes to Deuteronomy 28 and 46. Okay? Now, we're going to go to Genesis 49. Genesis 49. Done. Genesis 49. Judah is aligned well. Oh, oh, uh. Started, started, started the top, started the top, and uh, I think it's around the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's hold on. Uh, yeah. Start, started, started. Uh, first verse, because what it is is. Jacob is going to explain to his son what's going to happen to them in the, in the future. Okay? This is uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. 49, right, give, me, 1. give me 2nd Ezra, the 14th chapter. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Go ahead, bro. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. See? So here it is. Jacob is telling his sons what's going to happen to him in the future. Oh, okay. so he wasn't describing his sons when he did these verses. Well, what it is is we've been explaining to you. Yeah, but he, but he, but he, but he, he's saying, look, this is what's going to happen to y'all in the future. 
Okay, read it again. So everything he describes each one of them. Okay. Yeah, he said this was going to happen to y'all. Okay. This is Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together, that I may tell you that it shall be all you in the last days. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Make sure you get all of it out of there. Okay, I right, jump to verse 9. This is uh, Genesis chapter 48, verse 9. Okay. Judah is a lion's whip. Uh -huh. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Go ahead. He stooped down, he crouched, he, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall <coughs> rope, rouse. rouse him up. I Question. read that again. This is uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. Uh, 49. Judah 49. is a lion's whelp. Judah is a lion's whelp. He's a young lion. Okay, go ahead. From the prey, my son... Thou art gone up. Meaning, Judah don't know how to uh, hunt. He don't know how to go against his prey. He don't know how to do that no more. Okay, go ahead. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion. In other words, he uh, he relaxed. He just stretched out relaxed. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing. Okay? He ain't fighting. He ain't doing nothing, man. Go ahead. That's us try it. And yep. as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Who shall rouse him up? Judah kept so much hell, but ain't doing nothing. See? They said they kept, go hey, you got Judah, I uh, say, uh, you got Judah, I uh, get pulled over by the police and get shot down left and right. But guess what? Well, as soon as another, he get into it with another Judite, he ready to go to war. He, he don't care nothing about uh, uh, going to prison. Okay? Wow, he don't true. care nothing about going to prison. As soon as he get into it with another so-called African-American, he ain't got no problem with going to prison or none of that. But as soon as another nation like so-called white men do it to him, he think about his kids. He think about penitentiary time. He don't, want, he, he don't want no trouble. He don't want no smoke. That's Judah? That's Judah, man. That's how our people became as a nation, man. Judas lion with from the pray my son God and no, he stopped there and he cries his lion and his old man. Who shall rise? Who shall up? rouse him up? Yeah. So what they're basically saying is, what they're basically saying is, the Heavenly Father is the one that's gonna rouse Judah up and have Judah in that warrior spirit again. Right now, Judah ain't in no warrior spirit, man. They fighting amongst each other. Oh, I misinterpreted this all the way this one. You see? They fighting amongst each other, man. And when it comes to these other nations, they ain't going to throw a tomato up against the wall and bust it. Wow. That's our people, man. Wow. But as soon but as soon as something happened in the community, uh, in their community, they'd rather, go sh they'd rather go shoot the next Judite man uh, yeah. house up, his mama house up, his baby mama house up, all that. Yeah. But when it comes to these other nations, I mean, they ain't going to jail. Man, I got kids, and I ain't seen their kids in 10 years. You see? That's the way it is. Go ahead. This is uh, all, all, it's up. what you're talking about is at verse 8. Yeah, verse 8, yeah. Yeah, exactly. all the nations going to bow down. All, uh, the reason why they're going to bow down to Judah, because who come out of Judah? Uh, who the word England called Jesus, right? Yeah. Give me that in Hebrew. Uh, uh, was it 12 and 12 and uh, so, oh, no, Hebrews 7 and 14? Hebrews 7 and 14. This is the reason why the tribe is gonna bow down to Judah because who the world, who the world in the recall of Jesus, he come out of the tribe of Judah. Hebrews 7 and 14. This is Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. See? It is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So what you was reading in uh, the 8th verse, that's the reason why, that's the reason why 
they gonna bow down. The tribe is gonna bow down because of who the world in the called Jesus because we come out of the tribe of Judah. Okay? Read it again. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. See? Go ahead. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So who's the priesthood? The Levites. The Levites. Yeah. So Moses speak about the, uh, the Judites being uh, priests. Yeah. Right. But when the Lord came upon the scene, that's when it changed. You see? Go ahead. Oh, that's it on there. Go back to uh, uh, Genesis. Huh? Box. <laughs> <laughs> they watching the mother till they, they cut them up, and all that. Right, so, so I'm dealing with y'all right now. Uh, yeah. Okay? I'm dealing with y'all. Y'all got, got some questions? My brother. Y'all got some it's questions? That's not my question. The reason why. It's my question to do with the Lord said. What do you say? What's your, what's your nationality? My nationality, sir, is I'm a Hey, right, where you from, Louisiana? Sir, I've been around the world. Where you, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Sir, <laughs> I grew up in the most, one of the most racist towns. No, nah, I'm saying, where you from? Where you from? I can just tell Arkansas. by your accent. You from Arkansas? Yes, sir. Not with that accent. Yes, sir. What part of Arkansas? Cabot. Cabot? Yes, sir. Born and raised? Yes, sir. You sound like you from Louisiana somewhere. I burned a lot of sheets in my day fighting in turkeys. All right. What's your, what's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. For Italian, for Native American. What's your father? My father, my father is from European descent. You're in trouble then. You're an Edomite if he's from European descent. What so about his Native American? And who, who, who's Native American in your family? My mother. They don't go with your mother. They go with your father. Well, see, this is what I know. He saw you die. Listen. Hold on, slow down, slow down. I'm getting it. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm in trouble. You're in now, trouble. According to the King James Bible. You know your nationality according to the Bible? It doesn't matter what my nationality is. According to what? According to what? It's what what says Jew it doesn't Gentile. matter? What says it doesn't matter? This is what I say. According I to hear, what? I hear what you're saying. Nah, you confu you're in a confused oh, state. I'm not Yes, you are. You no, just don't know it yet. Oh, you know. just don't know it yet. I know. Okay, I you know just don't know it yet. Up, you said, I'm going to repeat what you said. Hold on, I'm taking my, hey, I got it. I'm taking it. Hey, what, what you just said, according to you, according to you, it don't matter. What does the Bible say? That there is one way. There's one way. Jesus the way is the way. No one comes into the Father but the there Son. I understand that. And it is East But what is your nationality according to the Bible? My nationality is yeah. I'm a man. That's not no nationality. I am a, I am not you a see, Gentile. You see, you're in a confused Lord, state. What does the word Gentile mean? I'm not in a confused state. See that? You're in a confused yeah. state. Yeah. If I ask you, if I ask you what color your suit, you'll tell me quick passing the hair. I just ask you what does the word Gentile mean and you're talking about something else. What does the word Gentile mean? Well, Gentile is not Jewish. What does the word mean? A Gentile is the faith of the Lord. Oh, my goodness. You're in a confused state, man. No, well, yeah, because you're in a confused state. What is the correct? What is the correct? The enemy is everywhere, my brother. I'm dealing with him. He's everywhere. What is the word? Is, it, is the word Gentile a nationality? So All is I, salvation? Oh, no, I'm dealing with him. I'm dealing yeah. with him. Is the word Gentile now? We are one flesh. We are one flesh. Is my watch. The reason why, y'all know why I'm doing this. The reason why I just say, just went to the description. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just showing y'all yeah. not confused. Yeah. And he don't know the meaning of words. Man, well, I know what you're saying. That's why I'm doing that. Okay. I know so y'all can see so, that he just blurting out stuff and he don't have no understanding of nothing. Okay? You're correct, Andrew. 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 You're correct, Watch out. Hey, watch, out. watch this right here. You say you're a Gentile, right? No, you say you're he, a said, he said man. he's a man. No, he said he was a Gentile. I got you on camera. He said you were a Gentile, right? I'm a Christian. Give me, give me Jeremiah 74. I'm watch just this right here. Scripture. You said you're a Gentile. Gentile. Jeremiah 74. <laughs> Woo! Hey, right, watch this right here. Watch this right here. You say you're a Gentile. I'm a Christian. You say you're a Gentile. What does the word Christian mean? Who the, who are the Christians first? 
It doesn't matter. Let's do that. You don't know. God, in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, there was the Word. The Word was our God. Hey, watch this right here. You said you did that. It was in John 1, 1, sir. My God on this earth. What is God? Because there is no Savior. Chapter 4, verse 7. The lion has come up from his tickle. From his thicket. From his thicket. Who is the lion? My brother. What is the symbol of, of Judah? It's a lion. Go ahead. Let's talk about the I Lord. Know this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. You said you was a Gentile. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The Lord coming back and destroy the Gentile. Okay, you said you were a Gentile. Sure. You still want to say you're a Gentile? May I ask a question? All I know you still want to say that? All I know. Hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. May I ask a well, question? Read it again, huh? Sir? Read it again, huh? Jeremiah hey, chapter 4, yeah. verse 7. The lion has come up from his tickle. Thicket. Thicket. Right. And yeah. the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. So what's your nationality according to the Bible? I'm a Christian. What does the word Christian mean? A follower of Jesus Christ, no, my Lord and Savior. No, no. The word Christian means anointed. I don't... I don't understand what you're doing, but what I understand. Is your I know you don't understand. I do understand. What is the purpose? Give me, give me, what, give me, uh, is this to divide me, uh, races, or is this to save souls? To teach souls of the love of Christ and true salvation. Only for a certain people. Only for a certain Only people. Only for a certain people. Yeah. How is that? Come on with it, the Father, the okay, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, if you come over in to me, the I'm going to be able to do that. If you come over to me, I'm going to be able to do that. In the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Almighty, Lord, touch these people that are talking, Lord. Put the angels around them, Lord. This is not of you your work. You this is well, not of you, Lord. Look, look, you are the man of God. Hey, what are y'all doing? All I got the people in the end. Let's see what you got. Hey, you see, hey, you see, you see what you see, you see, you see, I'm going to show y'all something. You see why I didn't want to deal with it. You see why? Oh, why? You see why? Oh, why? Because they're going to bring up food. You see, I was feeding y'all. I was feeding y'all. And you see what they brought. You are the demons right there. Y'all didn't understand the word of God. Hit him with it, right. hit him with it, hit him with it, hit him with it. Now, I just want y'all to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? When y'all come up here and y'all can understand it, this is what you're going to have that pop up out of nowhere. See that? See that? This is what you're going to have. Right. That's why I didn't want to deal with it. That's why I didn't want to deal with it, because I already knew. I already knew what it was. Now, I could have easily brought out scriptures to shut them up, but I wanted to use them as an example. It's easy to tell them, look, they're going into slavery. They're going to be destroyed. I could have got Revelation 13, 19. I could have got uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and, 30, and, uh, 30 and 16. I could have got them scriptures. But what I want is to show you the confusion that comes up when you out here. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, we That's know. what I want. And I, and I asked him, sir, he, he was saying certain things, and I asked him. Word, and he didn't know. He didn't know nothing. He didn't know nothing. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. Use him as an example of a person that don't know nothing. Okay. That's what I wanted y'all to see. Right here. This what okay. Boys that's what he worried about. That's what he okay. Right which that's we something. already knew that. Which yeah. I already knew that. Right. That's why. That's why when you saying ah. Get on them. See what they see what they want. I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to show you yeah. the outcome of it. I know what they I know what they went through. Okay. I see it every day on YouTube. I had the people okay. come up and don't know nothing. But them do that dude you know? right there, that dude right there, his destiny is slavery. And I could have, like I said, I could have got the script, but I wanted to show you how confused and live action these people are. Hey right, man, she gonna die. She gonna die with an eater my lover. That's that just what it is, man. She is a writer. She blind. She blind to the truth. So what's? She blind to the truth. Okay. She defending her daddy. Yeah, she's Okay. She look here. Look here. She gonna. She gonna. She gonna. She gonna die with her daddy, man. That's what it is. Okay, that's why 66.6% of our people are going to be put to death. Yeah. What you seen was an example yeah. of a rebellious Israelite woman and an Edomite demon. Yeah. Okay, that's what you seen. Okay, and I asked him, 
what does the word Gentile mean? And he didn't know. And then he came back and said that.